fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Compare with the other subjects, you are at least capable of speech, I am told. What is your name? What is your name? Very well. If you do not wish for me to refer to you by your name, I will simply refer to you as your subject number, 27. So, subject 27. At the very least, I will tell you my name. I am Professor Su Chong, and my superiors have placed me in charge of your particular case so that I can determine what exactly is going on with your biology. Ah, so you can speak. Fascinating. Welcome to the Umbrella Corporation where you will remain for the foreseeable future as our guest. The reason we have took you from your village home is because you have killed two people and infected three others. I am sorry that you became an unfortunate test subject of the late Mava Miranda, or so she names herself. <laughs> but you have been infected with the T-virus as well. The mixture of this strange plant-based organism that Mother Miranda has put into your head, combined with the T-virus, has seemed to take an unusual effect upon your body. The mixture has appeared to change your appearance, but not quite so drastically as the other subjects. For a basic test, could you please tell me what the shapes are as they flash up on the screen before you? Simply tell me what they are. Good. Good. Very good. And the last one? Brain development or reduction seems to have remained largely unaffected as I believe it's due to the protective nature among the plant-based organism Mother Miranda put it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we will see about sending you home. Perhaps when our experimentations are done, we can attempt to remove the T-virus and the strange organism from in your system and then, from there, monitor your progress. But for now, please participate in these experiments or you will be here longer. Now. Uh, next is a strength test. You see the bar near the door? Just attempt to do as many pull-ups as you can. <laughs> I struggle with two myself, but I believe that because of the effect of the mixture of T-virus and the uh, colloquial name Kadu, I believe that you will have the strength to do more. That's it. One, good, two, three, Four, five, six, six. My goodness. My goodness, indeed. Uh, large world that does not seem to matter. A strength appears multifaceted and greatly enhanced. I counted 27. Very impressive. I still struggle to do two, as I said. 
Now for the not so pleasant experiment. Well, this is an endurance test. Rotating saw blades on the walls will close in around you sharply. Five, four, three, two, one. Absolutely first class. First class research. All right, all right. That is enough experimentation for today. Now you have the rest of the night to yourself. I will return tomorrow morning where we will put your body through more experimentations. Well, unfortunately the subjects that you are paired with in this particular section do not have human capabilities or feelings, so you will have to forgive the lack of entertainment that we have down here. It was my suggestion to play some classical music for you, but you, unfortunately, are the only one who appreciates it down here. Mm. Well, I suggest that you try meditation, or perhaps exercise yourself, then maybe get a good amount of sleep, As you wish but that was my suggestion unfortunately you will have to be getting used to the idea of being a guest of the umbrella corporation at least for the time being hmm. <laughs> I seriously doubt that you are interested but I will tell you I have worked here for the last three years and I have seen all manner of sciences, both biological and chemical, completely change. Well, what I mean is, my perception of science has been challenged since working for the Umbrella Corporation. I was top of my field when I was at university in New York City. My parents spent every piece of money they could to send me here to America from Hong Kong. I have to say, the American dream is not dead yet. <laughs> I have managed to pursue all of my wishes since coming here. You need to understand that in the name of science, some sacrifices have to be made. It is not pleasant work, but it is necessary work. We do not wish for anyone else to be affected quite so severely by the T-virus in general, but since we took you from a village where you appear to have been a test subject for Mother Miranda, the Kadu implanted in your brain seems to have had an unusual effect, as I have said, with the mixture from the T-virus. No, that does not mean that we are unable to work with it. We have seen worse. <laughs> Believe me, we have seen worse. Will you remain in this cell? Hmm. No. In fact, why don't I give you the tour of your facility that you will be participating in? Just go over to the small door at the end of your cell and I will let you out. You can walk alongside me behind the protective barrier. Unfortunately, you cannot get too close. 
otherwise you may infect me with the T virus and that would be disastrous as I am sure you can imagine. Come now, I will give you a tour of your facility. There you are, just walk through the door and I will see you soon. I am very sorry that no doctor or professor has given you the layout of your facilities as of yet. I do hope that you will be cooperative. Believe me, Subject 27, you have it good compared to some of the others who are not capable of speech anymore. The best thing you can do is keep your head down and do as we ask you to do and then if you behave yourself we may cooperate with you. It is as simple as that. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. All you need to do is focus on the tasks that we give you. Well, more specifically, I will give you. My superiors have placed me in charge of your particular case because of my knowledge with biology and contagious viruses. But as I said, since working here, it has challenged my perception of modern science as I know it. <laughs> I know. It has been quite a culture shock, I can tell you that. This facility here is the record room. As you can see, it is very big. And we use this to see the effects that other subjects have on each other. For example, if we need a particular blend of the T-virus, we will get a particular subject from, from the strand of the virus that we need and then we will mix it with another strand, should we so choose. Maybe, but that is not for me to decide at this very moment. There may come a time where your particular strand of the T-virus may prove invaluable considering your recent history with Mother Miranda. As I understand it, the village suffered quite a lot of damage since uh, uh, an agent known as Ethan Winters investigated the disappearance and kidnapping of his daughter. Oh, you know of this. Over there is where you will receive your food for the day. You will receive one meal. As I said, you are the most human subject that we have in this section. So you don't need to worry about any raw meat or perhaps even human meat being part of your diet. We will simply go to the local takeaway or have our chefs cook you something from the staff table. So count yourself lucky that you are eating the same meals as the staff. If we need to make a change to your diet, then I will sign off on it. So therefore, it is in your best interest to cooperate with me as best you can. Wonderful. Now, I know I said the experimentation was over for today. However, there is one small thing that I need you to do. I need to monitor your adrenaline levels. And no doubt, if there is any correlation between your adrenaline levels and your physical prowess as you demonstrated with the strength test. 
Simple. I'm going to push this button. And you are going to face off against those who are more unfortunate with the T-Virus than yourself. Well, I suggest you think of something to do as they are closing in on your position. <laughs> Good. One over eight. Good. Very good. Very, very fascinating levels of results. That, subject 27, will be it for today. I promise. <laughs> I needed to have your cooperation in this underhanded way, as I doubt you would have gone willingly should I have told you the nature of the experiment. And as a plus, we probably would not have got any better results than this. Well, as I say, the rest of the night is yours. Please, by all means, take all your time and try to relax as you are done for the day. The only thing I can suggest is meditation. It was the only thing that really helped me. I wish you a very good night and I will see you tomorrow. Try not to be too disheartened. There may be hope for you yet, Subject 27.